My name is Anthony Charles. I'm the manager slash owner of a farm in the area of Ebenezer Christchurch. Um, just started farming of just under a year now. And we have been hit by pigeon larceny. And it is very heartbreaking to know that you put in all this work with six months and then to lose half your crop overnight. Okay, so you can walk us through exactly what happened? So Tuesday last week, we left the location um, after 7 p.m. and we came the following morning, Wednesday, and we noticed that one of our feed bags had been, the contents of it had been uh, thrown on the ground. So that initially sparked some questions. So upon further inspection, we walked into the ground and noticed, well, that all of our majority of our cassava had been pulled and after that we took the necessary steps in reporting matters to the police um, getting in contact with the Ministry of Agriculture and just making the steps necessary in reporting the matter. After a verbal interview at the station the police came and they took photos of as evidence of the cassava which was stolen for their records going forward. Upon count, 221 holes would have been pulled um, with an estimated value of over $2,000. Going forward in trying to prevent this from reoccurring, uh, we are looking at in, in the installation of solar lights, um, solar Wi-Fi cameras that we can monitor the crops. Uh, from our homes or wherever we are and also we are looking at private secure private mobile security um, in coming and just like with all the bigger companies they have G4S and Guardsmen coming and making security checks at their locations we are seeing that as our op main options going forward. It's going to be costly for us uh, going forward. Luckily enough now there's the technology with the solar and solar lights and the solar cameras which would cut down a little bit on the cost but looking at the private security um, yes that will be, have, be going deep into the pockets trying to get this done. Um, in my honest opinion, they speak about it a lot, but the enforcement um, is left a lot left to be said about the enforcement of the issue. 